global pandemic continues to impact our lives in profound ways. At Vancouver Island Regional Library, we have adapted and innovated to continue delivering critical public library services throughout the region. We have taken significant steps to make our physical spaces and collections safer and more accessible. And our communities have embraced everything from curbside pickup to creative virtual programming and digital content. A learning organization, we seek always to inspire, educate, and deliver in-demand services. For me, innovation means anticipating community need and then adapting to meet that need, whatever it may be. What inspires me about the future of libraries in this region and across the province and even around the world is just how relevant they continue to be in people's lives. I think we can help unite and overcome through the great work of libraries. We launched Meet Me in the Stacks in 2021, a podcast for bookish people, and it's already hit 1,600 downloads and less than a year of episodes. We've covered topics ranging from the Indian Act to queer romance, COVID conspiracy theories to libraries of things, and so much more. We also translated our best attended program of all time into an episode where we hosted Indigenous relations expert Bob Joseph for a talk and Q&A on the Indian Act to an audience of more than 500 attendees. Later in the year, we launched Sea and Cedar, a new digital literary magazine. It's a literary magazine that publishes writing, so that includes poetry, short fiction, and creative nonfiction, as well as artwork by local writers and artists, um, so those who live and work within Burl's service area. Supporting local writers and artists is something that we really like to do at the library. Um, and a lot of that has to do with providing space for um, those writers and artists to share their work and connect with an audience. And this is kind of an extension of that. Hosted acclaimed and very lively Indigenous author Eden Robinson for another highly successful virtual conversation and reading, and also held a multi-partner esports tournament with thousands of dollars of partner donated prizes. For National Indigenous History Month in June, we partnered with the Nanaimo Art Gallery on a virtual cedar weaving workshop with artist Violet Elliott of the Nanaimo First Nation. I started working with the Indigenous Engagement Committee about developing a maker workshop. I built a connection with a local cedar weaver. I have a passion for sharing with people the connection to the cedar, the connection to land, and I was so happy I could reach a lot of people through Vancouver Island Regional Library, so I really appreciated that. The response was incredible. We had um, close to 300 people register for this workshop. Talented Métis artist Jean-Paul Langlois created a custom piece of art for Verl called Raven My Friend. The piece was made available for anyone to download a high resolution copy for their own personal use. I'm Métis so uh, I have Métis ancestry on my dad's side and then settler ancestry on my, on my mom's side. My grandfather went to a residential school and we don't have any cultural practices. It, you know, he never took us hunting or taught us how to bead or you know, jig dance or any, any other things. I am just trying to figure out who I am and where I belong sort of through painting and through telling these stories. And so something like the library or any other public space to, to actually have shows and, and, to, and to put art on the walls, I think it's super important. The pandemic has challenged us in so many ways but it has never, not even once, dampened our commitment to our communities or diminished our love for literacy and learning. We will continue to innovate and evolve. We will always strive for the next great idea. And we will do everything we can to keep us connected, inspired, curious, open, accessible, and welcome to everyone.